I'm continuing to refactor tests that are already working, but I want to show my approach to testing. So I have this test for adding and deleting a customer. The customers load, we add a new one, then we find it, delete it, and then confirm that it has been deleted by going through all the pages and trying to find it again. In the previous videos, I've shown how to write these utility functions that are correct and go through all the pages. I also updated verify the customer that goes through all the pages and finds the element with the customer name. When we're deleting the customer, the current code just simply finds the button because we found the customer that contains delete and clicks on it. In the command log, it is somewhere here, right? We Okay, right here. So we found the customer. Notice we're editing customer. We found the buttons that contains delete, clicked on it, and then something happens. Uh, the window pops confirm message really delete question mark and Cypress by default just returns true. And let's rewrite this just a little bit better. Okay, so I will move the code to the right. So the first thing I like to do, I like to log what we are doing. So in this case, deleting the customer and I'm making it bold, okay? Instead of getting a button and then using contains, we can just simply use contains button with text delete and then click. So this is the first step. Log better and shorten the code a little bit. Okay, I can see it right here. Notice this delete the customer, site contains and then click. Now, the really delete confirmation could be written better. Before we do the action, we say si on window confirm and we can return true. So this is exactly the same as before, but it's explicit. We're saying we're preparing for window confirm function to be called return true. We can do it better. Instead of having a function, we can create a Cypress stub, which is Synon library. We can say returns true and we can give it an alias. So let's say confirm and then now it complains because the TypeScript definitions are not perfect. So we'll just say yes, expect error right here. So on window confirm, size stub will run and it will be very noticeable in the command log right here. We clicked on a button delete. The function was called. It has an alias confirm. Okay. And then we return true and uh, delete the customer. But the cool thing we can confirm that window confirm was called. So we gave a stub analysis. So we can say si get confirm should have been called once with and what's the message? Uh, the message was really delete question mark. Okay, so we're preparing for the click. Oops. We have to confirm after we click. Okay. So we're preparing for the click. We pass a stub. We click on the delete button and we confirm that the stub was called with expected um, string argument. So the last thing of a puzzle is right here. So notice when we deleted the customer, then we are moving to the URL slash customer. And I think this is a good assertion to add to our page method delete. After we delete a customer, the location path name should equal what was customer. Okay, so let's confirm this. So that by the time this method delete is finished, the app has transitioned to where it's supposed to do. And then we can continue dealing with a new page there. Okay, so confirm that we deleted and confirm that the URL path name is equal to the customer and we're already showing the right down snapshot. Okay, I think this video has shown enough. If you want more videos like this, I'll keep refactoring those tests in the future videos on my YouTube channel.